Welcome to Berry Berry Life, bringing you easy and delicious vegan and vegetarian recipes every week. So hit that subscribe button for more great content. Today we're going to be making harissa. It's been requested by a friend of ours who loves spicy food. Harissa is a chili pepper paste originating in Tunisia, and it's been gaining a loyal following all over the world. And rightfully so. Harissa is full of spicy garlicky goodness that can be eaten as a dip, a condiment, or added to other dishes to make them even better. Traditionally, harissa is made with bakludi peppers. We're just going to use local variety that are similar and readily available. So let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to need two red peppers. Since we have a large one, we're going to use one and a half. We're going to replace the bakludi with Fresno chilies and kick it up a notch with habanero, also known as scotch bonnet. In addition to the peppers, we'll also need garlic, juice of one lemon. For the spices, we'll need coriander seeds, caraway seeds, cumin powder, dried mint, sea salt or kosher salt. We'll also add a neutral oil, as well as a flavorful extra virgin olive oil. If you're new to this channel, glad you could join us. Hit that subscribe button for more great content and to support our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for future upload notifications. We'll be uploading recipes every week, so you don't want to miss out. Over an open flame, on your stove, carefully roast the red pepper. You want to char the skin on all sides. Roasting the pepper this way also steams the pepper from the inside and cooks it. It also adds a smoky taste and will help us remove the skin. Once the pepper is charred, place it on a plate and cover it with a bowl for about 10 minutes. This will allow the pepper to steam, which will help with skin removal. We're going to set that aside. We can move to the next step. In a small pot of water, doesn't have to be a lot, add some salt and bring it to a boil. Once the water is boiling, add the Fresno chilies, along with the habanero pepper and the garlic. And then boil everything for about two to three minutes. After boiling two to three minutes, remove the peppers and the garlic from the water and allow them to cool before handling. The entire kitchen is smelling like peppers right now. I really hope the camera does these colors justice. They're absolutely stunning. Now we can go ahead and toast the spices. In a small skillet, over medium low heat, add the coriander and the caraway seeds. We'll toast them until we can just start noticing their fragrance. And it just wakes up their natural essential oils. This only takes a few minutes. Once the seeds are toasted, we're going to add it to a mortar, along with the other spices, and then grind everything to a fine powder. Homemade spice mixture. It's been a few minutes and the peppers have cooled. We'll go ahead and de-seed the Fresno chilies and the habanero. If your skin is sensitive to peppers, you may want to wear gloves for this. We want to get rid of all of the seeds, along with the stem and any veins if possible. The paste will be spicy even without the seeds, with the habanero pepper. The seeds would make it spicy and override everything else. In the final product, you'll actually notice a sweet juiciness to these peppers that really comes across in the sauce, along with the heat. We'll also peel the garlic. By boiling the garlic, the skin comes right off. Lastly, using the back of a knife or a serrated butter knife, We'll remove the charred skin from the red peppers. The little teeth on the knife really helps with the scraping. 
with the skin removed, we'll go ahead and de-seed the red pepper. We're also gonna remove the stem, but just a reminder to keep the flesh around the stem. That's still good, so don't waste it. All right, so with all our ingredients prepared, now we're ready to blend. We're using a food processor here, but you can use a blender as well. First, we'll add the roasted red peppers, then the Fresno chilies, then the habanero, and the garlic. Then sprinkle in the spice mixture with the drizzle of neutral oil. We're gonna hold off on the olive oil until we're close to the end. Finally, top it off with the lemon juice. Process all the ingredients to a fine consistency. And if needed, in between, scrape the sides. Be careful not to get too close to the opening of the processor. You will get a nose and a throat full of heat. Now about five seconds before stopping the processor, drizzle in the olive oil. Since this is an extra virgin olive oil, the heat from the processor would damage the flavor if added earlier. Oh man, I just want to scoop some pita bread in this right now. This is just perfect. Our harissa is done. Let's transfer it to our favorite bowl and dig in. There you have it, harissa, a big flavor of Tunisia right in the comfort of your own home. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to support this channel, and hit the bell icon for future notifications. If you try this recipe, be sure to tag us on Instagram at BerryBerryLife.